Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing okay today. I hope you enjoyed, if you haven't seen it already, the video of the full spin up on this um, 340 millimeter high pass EDF. Now, the packs that I ran were the 70C small 2200s. And typically you want to match discharge rate if you're going to run stuff in a series but i do have a 5000 uh 50c and a 6000 at uh 100c but since during the video all we saw was a maximum of 50 on the amps it was very efficient it being a 75 volt motor makes it uh basically so far underneath the limits of what the motor needs to pull at maximum that it's going to keep the amps low enough to where i'm not going to damage those if i run them in series even though they're different discharge rates but they're the same volts so um that's what we're going to do next and the next spin up is going to be with long these longer packs and see what happens um mainly because i i can't afford to buy a whole bunch of brand new batteries right now and i've put these these are all my testing batteries so they've been through a lot so we're going to try it with these two in series and with the mismatched discharge rate to see what happens and um like i said since it's going to be underneath the max voltage not even close to the max discharge um that i'm going to be um that the batteries can handle then everything should be fine and we're going to spin this thing up again and do another video with a little bit longer run because we're going to have a lot more milliamp hours to deal with. So that'll be fun. Hope you don't miss that one. If you, if you haven't already, obviously go see the video. I'll link it to this. Of the spin up I just did with this using my fancy new GoPro camera. Awesome. That thing worked out great. So don't uh, miss it. Go check it out.